Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Expo, Expo Camera to take pictures on an Expo React Native app and I'm going to show you how to use Expo Sharing to share those pictures and Expo Media Library to save those pictures to your camera's gallery. So first off I'll ex install those free packages Expo Camera, Expo Sharing and Expo Media Library and I'm going to import them. So first I'll import the camera, then I want to import share async which allows you to share a file and then I want to import the media library. I'm also importing use effect because I'm going to use that to get permissions, use ref because I need a reference to the camera and use state so that I can um, show different things depending on whether there's permissions available or whether there's a photo that's been taken. So first off, I'm just going to set up my camera ref, so I'm just going to use ref for that. And then I'm going to want to um, have a variable for state that is whether, the cam whether we have camera permissions or not, and that will also have a function that we can set which is called set has camera permissions. And so for that I'm just going to use state and it's just I'm just going to set it to default of um, undefined. I'm going to do the same for the media library. So the camera permissions are basically whether you can actually access the camera and take photos. The media library permissions allow you to access the gallery or the camera roll and save photos to them. I'm using use effect so that I can um, check for permissions when this um, component mounts and it'll just run that once, it won't run it multiple times. So inside that I'm going to call an asynchronous function because um, it needs to go and asynchronously request permissions. So first off I'll request camera permissions. So just await camera dot request camera permissions. If you're wanting to record you'll probably want the microphone available as well but for this I'm just going to take photos I'll do another video at a later point about recording videos um, then you've got the lib media library permissions it's very similar but you'll use the media library instead and just request permissions so once we've got um, the status of what the user has said in terms of what permissions they've granted. You can set the um, state variable for has camera permission and has media library permission. And this can be used to show whether you'll give like different options to the user like um, whether you allow them to save the um, photo. It's also important to add this um, permissions in and also for is access media location enabled you'll want that as a string not a boolean which it has in the expo documentation. So if it has um, camera permissions equal to undefined so basically it hasn't evaluated whether there's permissions yet you'll just say return request text of requesting permissions because you can't interact with the camera yet so you don't want to show it. And if you haven't been granted perm permissions you're going to want to prompt the user to enable those permissions for you.
So the users can do that in the settings. You can give better instructions if you want. I'm just going to say please change in settings. And if it gets past there, you can pretty much assume that you've got camera permissions. And so um, at that stage, you're ready to actually go ahead and add your camera component. So I'm just going to go ahead and change what's returned. I'm going to make it a camera. It's going to be a full screen camera. I'm going to remove that text. I don't want that text on screen. What I will have on screen is a button um, that will allow me to take the picture. I'm just going to wrap that in a view so I can give it a white background. It's more easily readable against the picture background. And I'm going to use a button. Its title is going to be Take Picture. And I'm going to call a function that I'll define called Take Pic also. So on press, I'll call this function Take Pic. I'll also have to set the reference. Um, to the camera ref so that I can actually go ahead and take the picture and I'm going to want to set up that style for the button container I'm just going to want to um, align that towards the end so it's not blocking the middle of the picture and also give it a background color so that the button stands out a bit more I'm just going to set a background color of white And I'll align it to the ends out of the way. Now that I've done that, I can go ahead and define my take pick function. It's going to be an asynchronous function because taking pictures is an asynchronous action. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some options. There are more options available and you can look at them on the Expo documentation. I'll link that in the description below. Quality 1 is basically the highest quality. I want to include Base64 because that's how I'm going to display my image. And I don't want to include EXIF data, which is basically um, aperture and shutter speed and anything technical like that. And it's just basically extra information about the photo. So I'm going to get my photo by using my camera ref dot current, and I'll take a picture. And pass my options in. Once I've got that, I can actually go ahead and set up some state so that I can um, show different uh, a different view depending on if there's been a photo taken or not. So I'm going to want a photo variable which will contain my photo if there's one that's been taken. I'm going to use state. Um, if it's undefined, it basically means there's no photo taken. And I can use that set photo to actually go ahead and set the photo. So I'm going to go ahead and set my photo to my new photo there. It's going to trigger a re-render um, and if there's a photo I'm going to want to handle that. I'm going to want to show a few different action buttons. I'm going to want a discard button, a share button and a save button. Um, I'm just defining my functions for share and save at the moment. And what I'm going to want to return is a um, safe area view. 
And the reason I want to say fairy of you is that it doesn't sort of go off the screen for an iPhone. It sort of just makes it a little bit more easier to manage. You don't need to think too much about the safe areas on the iPhone. I'm also importing button and image because I've got a few buttons and images and I want to show the image um, preview. So yeah, I'm going to have a safe area view. I'm just going to set that style to container so it takes up that whole screen. I'm going to have an image in there. I'm going to give that a style of preview 2, which I'm going to define in a minute, but basically it's just going to be um, it's going to be basically stretched and taking up the remaining space so that it gives a good size preview of what the image looks like. For source, you want to use the base64 data from the photo. Um, you also need to prepan that with the base64 um, just so that uh, it's recognized. So yeah, you can just copy and paste that in. All this code is going to be available on GitHub, so you can check it out and look at it in your own time as well. It'll just be available in the description below, and you can follow me for other um, code on GitHub as well. So yeah, I'm just making it stretched and flexed to take up the remaining space. So it'll take up all space except for where my buttons are. So it's now time to define my buttons. There's a few different buttons I want. Firstly, I want a share button. So a button with the title share. And on press, I'm going to want to call my share pick function. That's basically going to open up the share dialog. In the demo, I'll cut that out a bit because I don't want to show you who I've been interacting with. I had to use my personal phone for the demo because um, the camera's not available on um, the simulator. So here I'm going to want to check whether there's um, media permissions. If there is, then I'm going to want to show a save button which will allow people to save to the camera roll or gallery and I'll call that save photo function I'll define the defined if there's no camera permissions I won't show that button so I'll just return undefined and I'll also have a discard button which will basically be like if you don't like the picture you can discard um, all that's going to do is set that photo to undefined that will take us back to the camera so we can take a new picture. So now I just need to fill out my share pick. So um, I'm going to use that share async function that I've imported previously. And what I'll do is I can actually get the photo URI and from there we should be able to just share it quite easily. So that's an asynchronous function and when it's complete, I'm going to just want to discard the photo. And it's just gonna take me back to take another photo. So I'm just setting that photo to undefined again. I'll do the same thing for saving photo, except this time I'm going to use the media library. So media library dot save to library async, that saves the camera roll or the gallery. And you're using that photo URI again. And once again, it's asynchronous. So I'll handle that promise. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do here is once again, discard the photo once I've saved it, because I'm going to want to go back and take another photo. If you don't feel like that's necessary for your use case, you want users to manually discard photos, that's fine. Um, go ahead and do that. You can just leave out that code for setting photo to undefined. So now I've loaded up my code and I can see there's an error. It seems to be because I accidentally imported this extra button. And when I click um, and fix it, I get these permission requests. So if I approve those, it brings up the camera and I can click on take pick, which brings up the share button. 
if I click on share, I can go and save somewhere. I've just clicked on files um, just as a demo. You may also notice that I didn't have the save button. And so that was just that typo in media library permissions that I just fixed. And so now I can choose to save it to the camera roll. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. And if you have, please like and subscribe for more content.